What's good, YouTube? It's Fletch in the Flesh. Now, today, I'm bringing you guys a video going over everything new or all the changes that Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, the beta, has brought so far. So, I'm going to go through and look at everything that is new and tell you guys what's new. And I hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. Now, the first thing I want to go over is the multiplayer loadouts. Now, they've done a little changes to the way we pick our classes and the way we set them up. Now, the first thing that I noticed when I, when I first started playing the game is that there's this thing called Shock Stick. I had no idea what it was. They added this, uh, it's a new tactical, obviously, and it's an electronic device that sticks to surfaces. It electrocutes the enemies, destroys equipment, and causes vehicles to go haywire. So, obviously, you can read that. Um, also, another thing that I noticed was when people hit the Shock Stick, they start shooting in, in like a hip fire. So, it, it's kind of helpful. Like, you can get them, catch them off guard with the Shock Stick and make them shoot a bunch of bullets for no reason. And it's pretty much, it's pretty much uh, self-explanatory at that point, and then it also destroys stuff. But everything else in here seems to be, you know, relatively the same. Um, so nothing really else to be changed here in the tactical. Uh, the, the lethals, nothing really else either besides the drill charge. Now, I, I don't really exactly know exactly what it does. I've used it a couple times, but I think it drills into the ground or whatever you shoot it into, and then it blows up after a couple seconds. I think that's, ex that's what it does, but I'm not too sure. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but I do know that it explodes, and I don't really, I haven't really gotten a kill with it, um, so I don't know, I don't know how useful it is, but it is something new that they've added. Now, the next thing I'm going to go over is the perk package. Now, the way they've done the perks this year, I, I'm not a big fan of, personally, I'm a big fan of picking my own perks and rocking my own class and type of style that I want to be, instead of something that they choose for me. They do have a bunch of, uh, different, um, like perk types or perk packages I guess you could say so obviously you see here you get two base perks which you get after getting a couple kills I think it's like one you get overkill two you get scavenger and then uh, three maybe uh, fast hands or an overtime hard line you know what I mean so I think um, that's how it works uh, I'm not too sure if you know exactly how it works then type in the comments and I'll pin it the different types are assault phantom hunter dead eye support and sniper those are all the ones that we have so far. There might be more when the game releases. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, we'll see. But you can pause the video and just read them all and see what uh, each one comes with. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Hunter because, I don't know, I'm, I'm a big running gun type of guy. Uh, so, I think this is the best one for running gun. I'm not, like, pretty... I mean, the other ones just doesn't... They don't intrigue me as much, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of like limiting myself to the type of perks that I can use. And I'm not a big fan of that. The next one is field upgrades. Now, field upgrades, we actually have a lot of changes in. So, there's two types of uh, field upgrades. Or, like, you can get two, but uh, it's locked for the beta. So, somehow, we'll, have, we'll be able to unlock two field upgrades. But for the first one uh, that I want to go over, we obviously have the, the three is deployable cover, tactical insertion, trophy silence, and or trophy system and dead silence. But uh, the first one I want to go over is battle rage. Now this is something new that we haven't seen before, and uh, it's an experimental stimulant that gives you an adrenaline rush. Uh, health regenerates quickly. Tactical equipment is resisted, and tactical sprint is constantly refreshed. So you all you have your tactical sprint constantly. Uh, you're able to run faster. Um, your health regenerates more quickly, which I think is a big thing because health actually regenerates really, really slow in this game. And the time to kill in this game is also super quick, so it's. It, I think this one's a really, really helpful one. Uh, suppression Mine, I, I haven't really seen this one, obviously because it's locked, we're not allowed to use it. But it's Trip Mine that when triggered emits a constant sound wave that disrupts enemy vision and shows their movement. So that, that seems pretty useful. We also have a tactical camera. This one you can set down. You can also control it, like in Search and Destroy. Some people, um, like you could look through it, like have a guy like camp in the spawn while he looks through it and tells you whatever. But you also don't have to do that. It also picks up enemies on its own. You can just place it in an area, leave it be. Uh, it's kind of like the cameras back in Black Ops 1. I don't know if you played that, uh, like if y'all have played that game, uh, which a lot of you probably have. It just picks up them up and it puts them on the, the mini map and it shows you where they're at. So uh, it's pretty useful. A smoke airdrop I have no idea like what this does but I, uh, from the way I read it, it you call in a drone and it'll put in a wave of smoke so it'll put in like a wall a big wall of smoke in front of you or in the area that you choose and honestly I think that'll be kind of useful for domination or 
uh, hard point or any of those other modes um, like objective based modes in, in team deathmatch and other stuff I don't think it'll be very useful but in in objective based modes I think it'll be pretty useful uh, and the next one is inflatable decoy I think this one is hilarious it really does nothing you just put up a decoy and it just stands there and it looks like a human I've actually shot a couple of them a couple of times and got uh, distracted by it um, but I thought it was pretty funny um, they don't really do much really besides distract them for a couple seconds because after they shoot it and it doesn't die or it deflates um, after a certain amount of time then they're like oh okay it's not a real person let's move on so I don't think it's really that useful but it is pretty funny to use and it might be I might be able to I might be able to use it for get some funny content but the next one is DDoS now this one uh, it activates the device uh, obviously that deactivates electronics like anything they've laid on the ground like trip mines or anything like that so it, it it's kind of useful, but I don't really see the point in rocking that over the other ones because there's a bunch of other ones here that you could definitely use um, that are better. Uh, now, and the last one is anti-armor rounds. Now, this one is obviously for what vehicles, like being able to destroy vehicles or uh, maybe even targets in the air. I'm not sure. It says includes vehicles, equipment, body armor, and targets behind penetrable cover. So I feel like they're kind of useful. Uh, might, they might be like... Um, flat jacket rounds or fmg rounds technically kind of well, tell me what you guys think in the comments of what you think of these new ones i i think that the flight body would be funny for some content so i think i might use that and get some funny content out of that now the next thing i want to go over is kill streaks um they've added a couple new kill streaks and some back I, 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 can't, I didn't really play vanguard so i don't know if they were in vanguard but i'm just going to add them anyway because they're new to me um now the first one's uav encounter uv and all those we obviously seen those before Bomb drone. Uh, I don't. I haven't really seen this one, but it's kind of like a RCXD, except you fly it. Pretty much, it's the exact same. I know everybody's seen the RCXD. You, you drive it and then you can blow it up. But this one is you fly it and you blow it up. So I feel like that's more useful, to be honest, because you can probably go over buildings and they can't really. It's kind of harder to look up than it is to look on the ground. In, in my eyes, the cluster mine. I, I think. Uh, I've seen this in in Ghosts. I know everybody's not a big fan of Ghosts, but I know it was in Ghosts, and. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but it's basically the same thing. It has like four or five, four to eight explosions that it shoots out. It looks like four to me on this one. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it might be pretty useful on like objective case modes, like I said, especially search. Uh, and then we obviously got our normal ones. You can pause and look at those if you want to. Now, SAE, it, it's kind of it's kind of like a mortar strike. You call in three like little, little spots and it shoots down like bombs so it's kind of like mortar strike or um yeah it's kind of like mortar strike so that's pretty much it got the wilson i remember we had this in a different cod i can't remember exactly which one uh the stealth bomber chopper gunner emergency a drop all the normal ones and then we see advanced uav now i'm a big fan of the advanced uav if you're if you're good enough to get a, the amount of kills for an advanced uav i'm a big fan of that so I'm glad that they actually brought that back. To me, they brought it back because I didn't play Vanguard. Don't know if it was in there, and I wasn't a big player of the the first Modern Warfare. But I actually am liking the, this Modern Warfare so far. But I'm glad that they brought the Advanced UAV back. I'm a big fan of it. I thought it was a great kill streak, and once I unlock it, I'm definitely gonna use it. And obviously the Juggernaut, you know, the big boy. He's been in a couple cuts. Last thing is vehicle customization. You can actually customize all the vehicles that. You could get in obviously i can't customize them right now because it's the beta and there's nothing really to use but you see there's obviously like stuff you can do you paint them and stuff uh which i think is pretty cool um it's not really a big change it's just something unique that they added to the game and there's a bunch of different vehicles which is which is really sick so I, i'm guessing they're bringing back the the mosh pit mode or, or the ground war mode or whatever you want to call it where they it's kind of like battle battlefield but you know just for the vehicles now they've also added some new game modes that i've seen just from the beta so far there's not very many but I, I have seen this new mode called knockout now obviously again i don't know if it was in vanguard but i do know that it's new to me so it's pretty interesting to add so obviously it's like search and destroy but you can revive your teammates so i think that's pretty sick it's a pretty nice unique um idea um, I'm not going to be a big fan of it. I'm like a big fan of uh, all the objective based game modes like Search or not Search Destroy, like Hardpoint, Domination. That's the ones I like to play because I like to get a lot of kills, and those are the games that I can get a lot of kills in. And it's fast paced. I'm not a big fan of the slow paced and whatnot. I just can't play it. But I think this is an interesting uh, game mode. I might play it a couple times, get some funny clips, you know, do something. I don't know. 
but we're obviously gonna play a lot of the game modes do everything check everything that's new out and you know do as much as we can so something I'd noticed whenever I went to edit the video is I forgot to explain that they they have this thing that you can grab in Knockout. It's like some bag or something like that. And you got to hold it for a certain amount of time. And at the top, it, top middle, as you can see the time going down, that's how long they've held it for. And once the time expires, they get the win for the round unless all their team has died. So that's something I forgot to say. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is that they've added dolphin diving back into the game, which I think is pretty sick. Uh, it, it doesn't really, it's not very helpful unless you're running away or trying to do some funny clip. But the way to do it, you just run and then you just hold down your sprint or your crouch button as you're sprinting. And then to slide, you just tap your, your crouch button as you're sprinting. Now, I will say sliding is god awful in this game it's like you're sliding into a girl's dms and she's like ew you look like my grandma you're ugly as shit get away and then blocks you immediately or if you're even trying to get away from somebody you slide and it stops you like you got a shit in your pants and you can't get back up it's terrible i hate it i don't know why they change sliding like that you can't even slide cancel i don't think there might be a way around it that I, uh, I haven't seen yet but it's it's terrible and then dolphin diving is also pretty much useless as well now, the last thing I want to talk about is mantling. You can mantle onto a wall now and just hold it like you're a bat just sitting on the ceiling, hibernating, sleeping until it's daytime again. Or like you're a vampire just chilling, waiting for your next prey, which is technically the way it's supposed to be used. You just sit there, wait, they run by, and maybe they don't see you, and you just drop down and bang, 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 they're dead. But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a funny mechanic, to be honest. But there's, it's not really a big change, but it's, it's pretty cool, to be honest. You can be like Spider-Man. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, comment any of the changes that you liked or disliked, and tell me your thoughts in the comments. I'd really like to know, see the feedback from the community. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later, and I'm out. Peace.